So there's a great scene in episode four where Christian says that he thought his work meant something. And then obviously with everything that's going on with his sister, his opinion had changed. Um, I wanted to know, what do you think that the meaning of this series is? That you can um, that you can be a person with um, um, with uh, with with convictions and ideas and a certain brokenness, and you can meet different realities, and that they your certainties can change, um, but you can meet reality as uncomfortable as it is, time and time again and be horrified in one version or another each and every time and still end up in a better situation than you ever could have believed possible. You know, in that, in that way, the way you frame it originally, yeah, it's mm-hmm. that you can think you know what's what and go along life, hit reality, adjust and get over the line and contribute something amazing under yeah. incredibly crappy circumstances. Absolutely. That is a great answer. It's a, um, I've just come up with it. So it's copyrighted yeah, you yours. It. That was perfect. Um, I, I really love this series because my background is actually in history. So this like definitely hit upon a sweet spot for me. Um, love yeah, a bit exactly. of history. Love a bit of history. Yes. And, and what I loved is that like on the surface, you think this is going to be a series about the fashion designers that, you know, the labels that we know, <sighs> and then you peel that away. Yeah. And it's this like, powerful, poignant, like heartbreaking story about people trying to survive yeah. during occupation of World War II. Yeah. And I was curious, like in the process of this and kind of donning the, the garments of Christian Dior, was there anything that you learned that really stuck with you? I think the stuff I learned, well, I learned all about Christian and Coco in particular and the, the larger fashion world and what was going on there, but which I had no idea, nor any appreciation, nor would have thought I cared to, right? And wouldn't have given a, a, a rat's, right? But, um, but I just, what I learned... The longer I played him, the more I loved him. He's he's the, he's the he's the role, the character, the person, whatever you want to say, that I love more than any other over 40 years of doing this. I love him more than anyone else. Now, I can't fulfill him, right? Mm-hmm. I can't give you what he properly is, but I can send a love letter to him. Um, but, yeah, the thing is that... that, that Todd Kessler has always said, every time I'd ask him a fancy pants question on Bloodline, he'd say, no, 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 we're just trying to entertain. And that's his basis. So, you know, we're not going to make a documentary about fashion or, you know, or the, or the war, this or that and the other. He's making a show that's going to make you go, you, you know, you can enjoy and then you can go, oh, no, oh, you know, and ride, like, you know, because what's the point otherwise? I mean, we're not going to step up and make a, you know, show about how to do a garment. You know, interesting as though that information is, you know, we take you away from your world, give you something that's, you know, going to be absorbing and that you'll dig. And it just happens to be full of all this protein and all minerals and all this other stuff. If you want it, you don't have to take it. It's all there, you know, but you could just sit down and have a good time and just be taken completely along with it, you know. Absolutely. And I hope that it makes people want to learn more because these are these are people that we are familiar with. We know, you know, we've maybe worn their clothing. We know these people. But then you see this like this rich life of the these experiences and these horrors. And like it's such a beautiful story to see play out across, you know, these 10 episodes. Um, you know, I'm hopeful that we're going to get another season of this and continue. You know, there's still so much more in Christian's there life. Certain, yeah, there certainly is in both of these characters' lives. All right, look, I'm very hopeful. We, I, I, I said yes to this over one one thing that Adam told me like five years ago, and I said, "When do we start?" And waited for five or six years for us to actually get the chance to start. Fortunately, we landed with uh, you know Apple TV Plus, who gave us. You gave us Paris, who gave us the most wonderful tools to work with and, you know, couldn't be, couldn't be happier to be anywhere. And, um, you know, look, if, you know, if it all works, it all works. And uh, I would be delighted to bring, bring it back because I, I just, it's, you know, he's the best, man. He's the best. And he's a, you know, he's a, he's a, he's just such a hero, but he's such a, you know, he's not heroic, in, you know, in, 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 his, in his ways, but he's, the result is just so, 
It's, he's very inspiring. He's a very deeply inspiring person, in part because he's so sort of so sort of broken in a lot of ways and so, you know, it's like unable to do certain things and whatnot um, that I really find it a very life-affirming kind of, you know, big, big life-affirming story in that way. But it's a ride. Ooh, it's rough. It is a ride. Oh, yeah, it's rough. It's rough. At, as we wrap up, I did want to sneak in one question about Rogue One because I love that movie so much. It Definitely. changed my life in so many ways. Do you think we'll ever see Krennic again? I mean, you, you've had a little voice cameo in The Bad Batch. You know, it's coming to an end. There's Andor, you know, maybe. Oh, and Andor? Yeah, I mean, maybe. And, doesn't Andor have, have they only, what, is it coming yeah. to an end? It is coming to an end, so I'm like, maybe. I thought they had know. like five years left to go on that. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, but um, you know, I'm always hopeful because Rogue One means so much to me and to see all of those characters and their, you know, again, these deeply fascinating yeah. and like. Yeah, yeah. Know, no, I, no listen, I, I mean, I, I think Rogue One turned out fantastic. So hold on. Is it, when's it going to, is it shoot? Is it, have they shot it already? So I think Andor has already wrapped, but, you know. Well, I, was, I mean, who knows in that case? I mean, knows? who knows? Maybe it, they'll maybe the they'll just do a Krennic, the, the, the Krennic backstory, but they'll have to shoot it quick or use a lot of CGI, <laughs> you know? Like, you know, Krennic the Younger or something, oh, and, then other, and they'll get someone cheaper to play it, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I would want you to come back, obviously, <laughs> but I just I wanted I to try. I could be there as an advisor to help the, young, the younger actor out and just go, mate, 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 stop, <laughs> you know. Thank you so much, Thank Ben. You I really so appreciate much. this. Appreciate it.